everyone, welcome to Pulp Society, which was born out of Sona Papers, a paper company which has its offices right above us. Right now, we're having a wonderful group show called Summer Somethings. I'm Priyanshi, I'm the curator of the gallery. We started Summer Somethings last year as an avenue to try and show a wide variety of practices that are engaging with paper or pulp. Um, this year onwards, we've actually decided to uh, convert some of some things into like a friendly affair. So we have Imos, our friends from Bombay, who run this fantastic uh, art and culture residency. This year we have Aditya Singh Rajput from Jabalpur, uh, who's done this fantastic uh, layering of paper, and he's also done some. Uh, very quick thing to join, so we have about four sets on display over here. Um, then we have Paya Arya, uh, who has two bodies of works over here. I asked Mark to come and see these a little up close because they're layered on glass. Pratyush uh, Paul from Calcutta who's made this fantastic collage of drawings that actually comes together in this one mega work. Um, uh, we then have Anila Kumar Gorlapa uh, from Bangalore. Uh, Anila is very interesting with his scale. He can go large, he can go very small. Um, Anila also comments and reacts to uh, contemporary society but is also looking at the ideas of nostalgia and uh, is actually layering them in uh, a way that is going back to what the miniature format of painting is and we will be continuing our association with Immers through the years. We will also be partnering with one other South Asian organization. We started this account with Rafe from Nepal. Then we have uh, this fantastic photographer Jagdish Upadhyay who is also part of uh, Film Foundry, uh, master photographer. We don't get to see as much of him here as we should. Uh, this is a very very small snippet that we put up. We actually have some more photographs by it as well. Uh, then we have Sanjeet Maharaj uh, who's actually made these wonderful sculptures but from paper pulp. Uh, again, it's very interesting uh, aesthetic language. One does see that this doesn't seem like something, even in terms of landscape, it doesn't seem like a language that one is used to seeing in India. Um, we have like multiple sizes with these beautiful works that talk about the landscape of uh, Nepal. And, uh, the last work, which again I don't think. Uh, can be documented very easily, but if one looks at uh, these woodcuts that are made uh, by him, again they bring uh, an Eastern language and yeah, a very interesting Nepali aesthetic. The show is on through the 6th of July, we have a closing event, uh, the details of which will be up on our social media very very soon. We look forward to welcoming you all into the show and sharing this with you. Thank you so much.